Good evening and a very warm welcome indeed. We're just about there, aren't we? New Year's Eve, it's uh, not far to go now, tomorrow. And uh, I've got some real big ammunition to give you on this line, I can tell you that. I've really put my sources out to bat and uh, I've come up with some real powerful, powerful set of bets for you. So if you've got your pens and papers ready, I'll be ready to fire them into you in just one moment. Of course, we are on Friday and it is December the 30th. And uh, I say New Year's Eve is tomorrow and I've got a beautiful set of bets. And then on New Year's Day, well, I, I, I've got something absolutely massive lined up. It's going to be an absolutely feature bet, I can tell you that. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And uh, I'll tell you all about that tomorrow on the line uh, when I do a slightly earlier message tomorrow. Uh, we'll be around about uh, five o'clock in the afternoon. I'll tell you all about then. I have to be careful with the times because obviously you have to wait for the bookmakers to put the prices up sometimes, else it just becomes a little bit chaotic. I've got two free bets on the line for a start, which are running in Ireland. They're not the only bets I've got because I've got three others, in fact, four others as well. I've got six bets on the line. Two of them in Ireland are 12 to 1 and 16 to 1. They both run at punches down and uh, they could well pop up. Two very big Irish bets uh, for you coming up in just one moment. I'm going to open up with that, uh, those two, in a moment. I've got a 20 to 1 shot running at Utoxeter, uh, which uh, I'm quite sweet on. It's a big price and it can certainly pop up. And then I've got three at Lingfield, a 16 to 1, a 13 to 2 and a 15 to 2. So some real big ammunition, six of the best as they say. However, I'll give you them in just one moment, but all those all those pale into significance when I tell you that I've got an 8 to 1 snowball bet. An 8 to 1 snowball bet. And that horse is ready to strike and ready to win. I can promise you that. Now, if you want that bet, you'll be in good hands because it's been 100% payouts this week on the snowball. No losers, all winning bets. And the first one won at 14 to 1. That was, of course, Sheriff Garrett on Monday, which I actually treated you on air to a free, but free winner. Cool and Magic was the next one to win. 7-2 to two for David Probot. No problem whatsoever. And then Jet Oil, back from 7-1 to one into 9-4. to four, Finished just touched off second each way. And that was a winning bet each way. However, this is not playing games here tomorrow. On New Year's Eve, I have a real big one. It's an 8-1 to one chance across the board. 8-1. to one. And uh, I tell you, I couldn't be more confident. I'm very, very positive indeed. Now, that horse is available bank to bank for £10. It's a snowball bet. And if you want it, it's £10 bank to bank. And once you've done your bank transfer, all you do is email Anne at the racing office, which is petersracingtips at gmail.com. That's petersracingtips at gmail.com. It's all written for you below. Once you've done that, They'll marry up each other, the, the, the £10 payment, to the name and email, and an email will zoom its way back to you. And that will have the name of the horse, the time of the race, and uh, everything else you need to know about this horse. It is exceptionally strong, and I'll be bitterly disappointed if it doesn't win, but I'll be very, 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 very surprised if it doesn't frame. It's 8 to 1, so even if it's in the frame, you're going to come up with a nice tickle. But, but I'm hoping to win for sure, obviously, to finish a 100% strike rate week and bow out with a wonderful uh, New Year's Eve strike. Now, I can tell you, in the last hour, I've had a message for a horse running on Sunday at Tremor. Now, I'm not going to release it tonight because I'm going to do a special bulletin sometime tomorrow with that one on. Uh, it won't be in the morning. It'll be in the afternoon. The horse runs on New Year's Day at Tremor, and I'm told from the powers that be, my absolute tip-top, tip-top advisors out there who are really in the know, they really are men in the know, uh, that this one's ready to strike, coming to the boil, and uh, it's been plotted up for some time. So stand by your beds on New Year's Eve tomorrow for a special feature message about something at Tremor on New Year's Day. I'm not going to put that on on New Year's Day, obviously, because a lot of people have late mornings in bed and relaxing. Uh, so I'll be putting that on New Year's Eve to tell you all about it. And if you want to get on, it'll all be explained. And that's the big, big gamble at Tremor on Sunday. And uh, I expect that one to land the money. Right, so we get on. We've got a lot to get through, haven't we? So if you want the snowball bet, the 8-1 to one poke on Saturday, New Year's Eve, and celebrate in style, should it oblige, and I'm pretty certain it's going to go very close to winning, that's for sure. 
you know what to do. Just transfer a tenner over from you to me, and then from me to you, I'll send you the name of the horse, the time of the race, and everything else you need to know. It's all very, very straightforward. And you must write to Peter's Racing Tips at gmail.com to get that bet sent to you by email. All right, shall we stay bright? Shall we get on? Not off. Right, let's get into it. Let's first of all start, where should we start? I said I'd start in Ireland, and I will start in Ireland. Uh, but a lot of winners this year in Ireland, some absolutely monumental gambles, 20 to 1, 33 to 1, 25 to 1, all sorts, 40 to 1, and I've got two big ones tomorrow. Uh, they run at punches down, both of them. The first one's in the 232, the 232. I've just got the prices on here. Uh, 12 to 1's available with Bet365, but other prices are around 8s and 9s. So you'll have to shop around. I can't really help you on that. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people backing these horses, obviously, so the prices could shrink and could avalanche down. So you've got to get on where you can. And, uh, you know, it is what it is every man for himself, every woman for himself, every jack man or whatever for herself. In the 232 at Punchestown, then, it's the first bet of the day for New Year's Eve, which I'm really, really, really looking forward to uh, having a real big payday for you. And uh, this one hopefully will do the business. It's number five. It's called Zophanian. Zophanian, trained by Dennis Hogan. Number five, Zophanian. It's got four noughts next to its name. Nought, 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 nought. Runs off a mark of 132. I'm not going to go on too much about it because I've got six sources to pass on to you and uh, it will be uh, far too long a message uh, for a night like tonight. So in the 232, it punches down. I, I like it an awful lot. I'm just going to check the price again for you. Uh, the 232, it punches down. Excuse me for just uh, leaning to one side here. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very confident about this horse. It's 12 to 1 with Bet365, who pay first five. But then across the card, I'm not sure what they're up to, to be honest with you, because the four spots over everyone else, uh, the rest of the prices are 8 to 1, 8 to 1, 8 to 1, 13 to 2, 15 to 2. So you're going to have to get on where you can. Anyway, it's number five. It's called Zophonian. Zophonian. And that's Z O F A N I E N. Uh, trained by Dennis Hogan. Uh, expected to do the business. Stepping up in trip. And uh, it's absolutely pitch perfect, right? So there we go. Not off, as they say. Number five, Zophanian, each way. First bet of the day for New Year's Eve. Now, we'll stay at Punchestown and see if we could connect with a real big double. Wouldn't that be beautiful? I've had a 200 to 1 Punchestown double. Now, in the 307 there, I've had a good mark for one here. And I'm just going to look at the price again. You have to bear with me here. And it's number, well, I'll tell you what, it's a 25 runner race. But that didn't stop me the other day when I tipped a horse called Carbon King, did it? I'm just looking at this one here. I've got it now. 16 to 1 with about 365. And uh, Carbon King, 20 to 1 into 9 to 4. Uh, did the business in style, didn't it? If you was on it, well done. I was on it big time at 20s. 20s into 9 to 4. Now, this, these pair are 12 to 1 with about 365 and 16 to 1 with about 365. Sort of like 200 to 1 the double, but each way they both come up, it'll be absolutely fabulous. They're paying first six on this race, the 307. This is about 365. So you get first five on the 232 with Zephonian, and in the 307, you get first six places. And uh, yeah, that's fantastic value. This one is called number 12, number 12, number 12. It's called Ramble on Muller. Ramble on Muller. It's Ramble on and then M U W -L, L E R. Well, I can tell you this horse does have absolutely no form to his name whatsoever. I think it's eight zeros. And you know what I'm like when I go for them horses with eight zeros. They often come up with number one. And I wouldn't be surprised if this one did exactly that. It's number 12. It's called Ramble on Muller. It's a six-year-old. It'll be seven soon, of course. It ran really well at Gowran Park last time. Up went six of 20. That was a really good performance, that. I can tell you that. And I'm told that this horse has come on a stack for that run uh, back in November. And is well handicapped off a mark of 85. And they pay out first six. It's number 12. Ramble on Muller or Muller. And that is my second bet of the day for New Year's Eve. Free, 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 all the way there. Zephanian and uh, Ramble on Muller. 
I was pretty pleased with that one today, fame and fun. Uh, I was the first bet out the traps yesterday and I put it out uh, and I talked about it for about four minutes and I implored you to get on it and I did fancy it very strongly and it duly did the business, didn't it? Fame and fun backed in from nine to two. Uh, jubbly, lovely jubbly, as they say. A little bit unlucky with one of the others, glorious charmer, second at sevens into fives or something. But uh, good winner of fame and fun. But I'm looking for some real big ammunition here now. New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I'm looking for some serious, serious priced big horses. And that's what these are. Right. OK, so let's move to Lingfield Park, shall we, for the third bet, fourth bet and fifth bet of this New Year's Eve special. New Year's Eve special. The 315. The 315 at Lingfield is the first one I want to tell you about. And this one. I'm just looking at the price. It's 13 to 2 at the moment. The horse is number one, and it's got a funny name. It's called Piffle. Piffle, trained by Ed Walker and ridden by Tom Marquand. Blinkered first time, this one, and uh, I think that's going to improve it an awful lot. She's a lovely filly. She really, really is performing very well on its merits, but I think with the blinkers on, it's going to be a much improved performance, and it looks a real ordinary 0 to 65 handicap. And I'll be disappointed. I know the connections will as well if you can't get off the mark this one. With a big chance, big chance. Number one, Piffle in the 315 at Linkfield Park. And I say, Tom Markand rides a horse, no one better in the plate than him. And a blink of the first time, dropping down the weights from 67. And it's come down, it's come down from 72 runs ago. So it's downhill spiral, spiral, down into a grade 0 to 65, where it should be able to take control of win. And it raced in the 0 to 90 last time up. And uh, there we go. It's number one. It's called Piffle. And it runs in the 315 at Lingfield Park. Now then, the one th uh, the 130 at Lingfield. I'm just going to put these up on the price checker, if you don't mind, for one minute. Um, where am I? Let's go to the 130. And there's a horse here that I'm really keen on. It's 15 to... See, they've done it again here, bet 365. They're 15 to 2, and everyone else is 11 to 2. So I'm not sure if 15 to 2 exists or not, but I'm telling you what the prices are 15 to 2 with bet 365, and 11 to 2 with everyone else. Very, very macabre, that. Very strange. But what I'm saying is, this is the one I'm on all in. I really like this one. It's number five. It's called Where's Tom? Each way in the 130 at Lingfield. You've just had Piffle each way in the 315, about 13 to 2 to your money. Where's Tom? Nap material each way, it really is. And uh, I think bet 365 need to take it to the cleaners at 15 to 2 because this is a real, real machine what can win off a mark of 60. And I, I like it an awful lot. Trained by Michael Madwick and ridden by Danny Muscott. Number five, it's called Where's Tom? Uh, it had all sorts of problems last time. Oh, Danny Muscott did ride it, it got but all sorts of bad place during the race. Slow out the gate. And uh, it's just a messy, messy race all in. And I think Where's Tom's going to really improve for the mile and a half trip as well. Perfect. Uh, it's everything set for him. I think it'll win. I think it'll win, but each way it looks an absolute natural. Natural, number five. Where's Tom? Second man of the day in the 130 at Lingfield Park. It was a good run last time up. It ran at uh, Kempton Park, finished third of 12. Didn't get beat too far, about three lengths. But as I say, it could slow out the gate and Muscat didn't have much chance to manoeuvre on it. So, uh, you know, he had to bring it home in its own way uh, without being too, uh, well, busy on it. Let's put it like that. So he gave it a considerate ride. Number five, where's Tom? Each way then in the 130 at Lingfield Park. So one more to come at Lingfield on a, a big one here, 16 to 1. And then I'll finish off with a 20 to 1 at Utoxeter. So it's a real big ammunition here for you. Each way doubles and treble and a, a massive chance to get made up uh, for sure. Right, so 3.15, we've done Piffle, we've done Where's Tom, 1.30 Lingfield. Let's go back in time, going to go back in time. Let's go back in time to the 11.50, the 11.50 at Lingfield Park. It's the first race of the day anywhere in the country, and it'd be lovely to get off to a flying start, wouldn't it? I'm just going to check these prices again, because uh, last time I looked, I've got the price in front of me. And uh, I'm just having a look now, I can't find it with the Jodrell Bank Telescope. Uh, here it is, 16 to 1. 16 to 1 uh, across the card, really, with everyone. I think that's a cracking price. 11.50 at Lingfield. Each way, number three, it's called Mount Mogan. Mount Mogan. Trained by Laura Mongan, written by Robert Havlin. 
Number three, Mount Mogan. Again, a horse with four duck eggs next to its name. Been coming down the weights. Uh, runs off a low mark of 75 uh, today or tomorrow, I can tell you, New Year's Eve. And that's in this 0 to 75, bang on the right mark. And I think this horse is going to run a big race at a big price. Number three, Mount Mogan. Uh, got, got, you know, I, 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 it needed the run last time up. It ran in November after being off from June. Uh, Luke Morris rode it and uh, the sniper uh, took care of it and uh, it, it, it didn't really have a race that day. And since then, the horse has been working okay, I'm told. And uh, is a winner waiting to happen off this mark 75. It really is. And uh, there we go. Number three, Mount Mogan. It's a big price, so you don't have to have the crown jewels on it. And you can win a lot for a little, can't you? So you've got Mount Mogan there. Where's Tom and Piffle? They're all at Lingfield Park in the uh, races there, 11.50, 1.30 and 3.15 respectively. I've got one more to come at you, Toxita, which is, uh, I'll give you the punches down back again, which is Zafanian, 2.32, and also uh, uh, Ramble on Muller, that was it, what, I can't remember, I'm writing, Ramble on Muller, 3.07, two big ones there, 16s and 18s and 12s or something, we're about 3.65, Good each way, double and two singles each way there. Which leaves me with one horse to go, which runs at Utoxita and it goes in a 2.53. And although it's a big price at 20 to 1, I wouldn't let that put me off and I haven't let it put me off ever. I like big prices to make big profits and you don't have to have a lot on. And if your doubles and trebles come up, you absolutely mop up big time. Like I've been showing you all December, I've had some huge winners. 250 to 1s, 150 to 1s, 54 to 1s. And onwards, 125 to 1. These are all doubles and trebles which have gone in, let alone all the singles. So it's pretty good value where you don't have to have a lot on. I know a lot of people just back them individually, all of them, and don't have the doubles. Well, either way, any one of these horses I'll give you today wins, you'll show a profit. Any one of them, any one of the six wins, if you have level stakes on them, uh, will show a profit for you. So that can't be bad. Right, I'll give you this horse now, and I'll just tell you one more time. If you want to get on my snowball bet, after a winner at 14 to 1 on Monday, after a winner at 7 to 2 on Tuesday, after each way, 13 to 2, 7 to 1, down to 9 to 4, just got nailed. Another another 20 yards it would have won. 40 length clear of the third each way. 8 to 1, big each way bet tomorrow. It's a New Year's Eve belter, and I aim to go out certainly with another big winner for the snowball then. It's just £10, bank to bank, you to me, as they say, the Chuckle Brothers, me to you. And whatever you do, write to petersracingtips at gmail.com after you've paid the cock and end, and that bet will be sent to you post-haste, no problems at all. Right, OK, the final bet of the day on this message, and then I'm back to you at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, but I will probably be back with a special message about this horse at Tremor. So it's going to be a busy day for me tomorrow, uh, and New Year's Eve night, we can all relax and have a bit of fun. But tomorrow... There's a horse running at Utox in the 253. It's number nine. It's called Helios Allen. Helios Allen. Trained by Mrs. Jane Williams and ridden by David Noonan. Bit of a combination that. Now, this horse is in free fall in the weights. It's down to a mark of 105. was off a mark of 110 last time. Uh, this horse, again, has got naught, 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 naught next to its name. Uh, but I think it's ready to strike. It's a big price. And, you know, you don't have to have a lot of money on but it's got a, it's a grand stamp of a horse. It's only a five-year-old going on six, of course. But number nine, Helios Allen, uh, has got a very, very good chance indeed. Ran all right on its chasing debut last time at Taunton. Uh, had a bit of a mistake and uh, slithered around the track. It, it was a bit of a funny one, but it won't be funny tomorrow at that price. Sure to be doing its best. Number nine, Helios or Helios Allen runs in the 2.53 at Utoxita. There we go. So some real big ammunition. I'm not going to go through them again. You've got them. I'm sure you've got them. Don't forget your snowball bet. There's all the details you'll ever need below. And then we've got the New Year's Day bulletin tomorrow afternoon. And boy, oh boy, I'm going to start 2023 like, I, like I've had in December with winner after winner after winner after winner. And I can tell you it's going to be an absolute blistering, blistering 2023 I won't fail. Don't you worry about that. I will not fail you. Listen, I'll see you tomorrow. During the course of the day, we're going to be busy messages. You're going to hear from me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and get your alerts. The 5 o'clock bulletin will contain all your action you're going to need for New Year's Day. But before New Year's Day comes New Year's Eve, and you've got some real powerful information there to go to work with. Good luck.
and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.